You need a PJ first class, not what you went to. You need to relay, chase money like you sane. How I give you the boat chain and plane. Fame name, fame name. That's insane. Same. Father, nah. you need a in case the movies get insane. Nah. You need a ruby, the kind of jewelry that's from the rain. No. I'm just here to remind you, but never mind me, man. I'm here to remind you where you come from. All this peace retreat is lame, done. You can never get rid of me. I live in you, live in you. Both of our Five in you. They gon' let me in this club in these dirty bands. Clean money, I count stacks with these dirty hands. Do a show, cut the rack with my new advance. Fifty bands, eighty bands, hundred bands. I'm in. We the American dream. No money, no class. Look at them. Look at them. Uh, how to make it in America? Real day one. Ain't a lot of us. Mom worked two jobs. It was hard for us. Me and sis made it out. Now she proud of us. They ain't teach me how to rap in those private schools. Wasn't like my rich friends had a lot to lose. Less money, less options. We are at the home of the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. The scene in South Philly a few moments ago. Boy, the city of brotherly love is fired up. They're saying fly, Eagles, fly, as they get ready to match up with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. This is taken at his four. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Side, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open. 
open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Now Bortles throwing on second down. And Austin Safarian Jenkins has it. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. I do believe we'll see a little bit more of this as this game progresses because when you can have that type of a game in the middle of the defense, it hurts them in so many ways because most teams like to be strong down the middle. And if you can sting them there, that opens things up for you on the outside as well. But that's where he, their big tight end, is so good. That middle third, the seam routes, the in routes. Yeah, you're right. Probably see more of that. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage and fortitude to go in the middle as well. <laughs> and he's got it. Now a first carry for T.J. Yeldon. And he'll take this one across the 45 up to about the 46-yard line. Tackle that time by Sidney Jones. Sometimes your philosophies get challenged at times you don't want them to. They did try to stick to the running game on the first two plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and long at the outset of this drive. Throwing his Bortles on third down. And he finds Safarian Jenkins. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. First down, Jacksonville, the passing game, looking sharp on this drive for the Jags. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Bortles now on first down. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Back-to-back -back games of 17, and they are really on the march now. It's a first down. They're piecing together a nice drive to start this one. Seems pretty scripted and pretty successful so far. And I think they did it without our help. Because you remember when we sat in with the, in the production meeting with them to talk about this. And, hey, you know, how are you guys going to come out of the gate? I know I offered my help with a few plays, and they didn't I, seem to I didn't want offer it. mine. You, know, you, were, you were the smart one. Whatever they're doing, though, it's working really well. Evades him at the 10. And he will be brought down at about the 6-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script. You go through your play calling. You go through all the stuff and establish things. And it looks like it's going like a work right now for them. And they'll get him down here at about the five-yard line. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. And this Fournette territory here, and he's alone in the backfield on second and goal. Now Bortles, and they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. Chances are good. He's going to be a very busy guy. Two catches already in this opening drive, and they were looking his way for a third. I think they put this defense on notice that that could be a really, really frequent combination. This has been a long drive. you got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Portals. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jalen Mills. And now nothing but green ahead of him. The 30, 10, 5, and he'll score. Touchdown, Eagles. When it was third down defensively, they were just hoping to make a play and get off the field, get their offense on. Instead, they did one better. Pick it off, take it into the end zone. Well, they did what you said. They got they did get the off. They're going to have to come right back on. They're going to come right back on, but happily, right? They put the ball in the end zone. That's the way you start a game. That's the way you set the tone. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This is taken about seven yards deep. <laughs> And he is out of bounds here on the return. The Jaguars offense now heads back onto the field. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive. And they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, and they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. 
Alongside the former defensive back Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's Jaguar football as we begin quarter number two. And they've got it here with a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. On first and 10, here's Bortles. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Nigel Brown. And he'll actually lose about seven yards on the return, but they have possession of the football on the turnover. Well, it's even the best of quarterbacks with their zone schemes. And here you've got a linebacker that's going to stay at home and just sit down in that zone. And this one basically comes right to him. Now it's the Boise State alum, Jay Ajayi. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. second long now it's third and even longer they're going in the wrong direction here because they're moving exactly the way they want to but you're exactly right definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys on third and long it's wins under pressure again and down he goes again Calais Campbell in there to drop him and back-to-back -back sacks now bring up fourth and long now on fourth down, it's Cameron Johnston on to punt it away. Back deep, Jadon Mickens. This will be fielded at the 17. A good return there, call it 13 yards. And the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. Bortles leads the Jags up first and 10, right at the 30. Fake to Fournette, now it's Bortles to throw. And this is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. Give him 30 yards there. That's a big time pitch and catch right there. And partner, I remember the days when quarterbacks would try this. They were holding their breath. But nowadays, they're counting on their receiver to be just a little bit better than the defense. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Chris Long. In there to make the sack. He buries him for a loss of 10. And the job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. Now Bortles. That one complete to D.D. Westbrook. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We'll come back to Philadelphia after this. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. To throw is Bortles. Incomplete over the middle, Safarian Jenkins. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Bortles to the former Jets, Safarian Jenkins for the Jags first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Lucy, Lucy, Lucy. Throwing on first down is Bortles. And his throw here is incomplete. He was looking for James O'Shaughnessy as tight end. That'll bring up second down. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. 
Second and 10 now from the 27. Bortles will try again on second down. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. The Jaguars on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. Here it's third and three. Again, it's Bortles. They go with the screen. It's Yeldon. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. Now, whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. As they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Bortles going to come up here on first and 10. And he's 5 for 6 now, throwing the ball on this drive. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Now Bortles again. Now he's got it. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they've got it first and goal. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. They'll try to punch it in with Fournette. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And that'll make it second and goal. They come out here in the eye. He's going to get it running right. It's a loss of four. Now third down. Now here's a timeout as they're going to get it with eight seconds remaining here in the first half. They've been stuffed twice here for losses. Now it's third and goal. Bortles going to throw. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. And that is no good. Time for a break. We've hit half. Time. Two quarters down, two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. That's fielded in the end zone. Terrific field position here as they finally get him just shy of the midfield stripe. Any return that gets you to midfield is a great return. One first down, and you're almost in field goal position. So they tried the 59-yarder and missed it, and now this offense starts just one yard shy of midfield. Wentz now on first down. They jump off underneath to a J. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And that'll make this a second and 13. Wentz now to throw. Jeffrey with a catch left side. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. The pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? 
maybe you let that one go, right? Because you can see the lost yardage about to develop. But that goes against every instinct of a receiver. They're taught to catch everything. So it's really hard to be mad at him and yell at him for trying to make that play. He was out there waving his arms. And when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you've got to get his attention because now you're in scrambles. Oh, ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked off by the former first-round pick, D.J. Hayden. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. Bortles leads the Jags up first and 10 at the 34. So after the INT, it's Bortles. He's going to look, and this will be caught at the 30. Touchdown, Jaguars. A big play there. 66 yards. And the Jaguars are an extra point away from taking the lead. Point after by okay, Lambo up and good. And they take the lead here at 7 to 6. Here's Lambo out to kick this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. Real talk, and yeah, the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. The result's not great thus far. A punt on the first drive and an interception last time out. And let's face it, every team wants to come out on the field and play with some confidence, play with some tempo, play with some rhythm. And when you're making those types of mistakes, you're not getting any of that put together. So what do you say, time to get back to the basics for them? In a lot of ways, yes. But the biggest one, of course, is finding people who will take care of the football and make a few plays. You've got to have a drive now that calms down the entire team. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets them to second and four. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage yeah, of blitzing often it, alters the normal spacing yeah, and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Twisting uh -oh. away. And some room to work. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A good pick up there of 20 yards. When teams have a tough time running the balls, this one has throughout this Hang game. There, right? It's so there. easy to just say, forget it. Let's throw the football. But that's exactly why you stay with the running game. Eventually, you stick with it. You make some adjustments. You often find ways to run the ball better as the game goes on. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Didn't have a receiver open downfield. And as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight unable to find anyone open an incomplete pass on first down that leads to a second and ten now wins and this is Ertz with it right side and he's corralled but not before getting it inside the 35 an eagle first down there wins to Ertz and the names that end in TZ his position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one, and that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Whenever we meet with coaches and they always talk about wanting to establish running the football, it's oftentimes with a good tight end who can control the line of scrimmage and the point of attack, and they're becoming oh, no, harder no, to find because the colleges are giving us a whole lot of receiving tight ends, former wide receivers who can run, not necessarily block very well. In this case, though, we saw two tight ends on the field, both of them with the ability to block, and they ran the ball successfully behind that power set. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. That one good for 10 yards, and that'll bring up a second and just about a few inches here. Now it's the all-purpose back. This is Darren Sproles. And he stopped immediately there. Officially, it's no gain on the play. And they'll remain a few inches shy of a first with third down looming. Wentz going to try and throw on third. Eluding the pressure right. 
He can run for it, and he'll score! Touchdown, Eagles! Carson wins an eight-yard touchdown run, and the Eagles are able to cash it in for six. So a quarterback scramble, certainly a pass play, but he saw something, tucked it, and got in the end zone. A lot of quarterbacks, when they scramble, they're scrambling to create more time to throw the ball downfield. In this situation, as you noted, he tucked it and took off. Great play by him. And that is caught for the two points. And around the goal line, especially on two-point tries, sometimes the QB's best friend is that big target the tight end. I love how you described it because you know he's going to have some length and some catch radius as well as a big body to keep people away from the football. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he is out of bounds here on the return. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, we'll see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last that's time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. On first down, Borlas. And it pops free. The collision there nope. jarred the ball loose and brings nope. up second nope. down. Nope. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. And the blitz does come. And he takes a shot on the release, as this will be incomplete. I would dare say that these guys would have liked to have given their defense a little bit more rest since they gave up a touchdown their last time out. But the last one, man, that's not going to happen. Yep, they're going to have to grab those helmets, get right back out there. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on four. They do go for it. It's Bortles. And he comes back that's with one complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. These guys are angry, but I'm still winning, so I'm not going to be angry. But this guy sucks. No, dude. Bortles now. Five straight completions here in this yeah. second half. First and ten. Again, they'll throw with Bortles. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Sidney Jones. And he's able to get it back here to the 43 yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. So after the INT, here's Wentz. Flushed out right. And he rifles one incomplete. Golden Tate, his intended receiver. And now it's second down. Let's face it, you can run the route tree as many times as you want, get in sync, practice it, do all those things. But once you get the game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. That one goes incomplete. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Here's a giant. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. Throwing now is Wentz. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. Now it's a giant, and he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Now a play fake, Wentz. And look at this, they get the turnover they needed, it's intercepted. Picked off by Tashawn Gibson. 30, the 20, 10, and they will score. It's a Jacksonville touchdown.
Those free safeties, they get to sit back there if they've got good pass rushers like this team does. Read like a book. He read it like a book and took it in for six. And if they use their eyes well and their anticipation skills, they can make big plays just as what we saw. A free safety's dream. Follow the football, go to it, and take it the other way. That's fielded in the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have stayed where he was as he'll only get back to the 16-yard line. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last one didn't bother you too much last time? No, because this is exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Now Wentz throwing on second down. Drops it on to Ajayi. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Come on now. Come on now. Let's go. Working from the gun, Wentz. Looking deep for his tight end, Ertz. And that one incomplete. Had some position, but couldn't hold on, and it brings up fourth down. There's definitely contact there, but it's the fourth quarter of a kind of tight game, and sometimes the officials just say, let them play. Kind of like your mom used to do, you and your brothers, just take the broom to you and send you out to the backyard and tell you to settle <laughs> yourselves. I like that, yeah. There was contact. I don't know, like you said, enough to warrant the flag. It was close, though. The Eagles indeed snap it. Wins. And he connects with Ertz. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. This is a Ajayi. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. That'll set them back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 13. Time for a break. We'll come back and see how it all shakes out after this. Wins to throw. Escaping the pressure right. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. Nice movement there by Carson Wentz outside of the pocket, completes another pass. Help me out here, partner. He's not sneaky athletic. <laughs> he is athletic. How many times do I have to say yeah, it? You've been making that declaration for a while, and it's 6'5". He ran a 40 of 4.77, so not only big, but he can move. That's a good time for a quarterback. He and Andrew Luck, similar physiques, similar athletic ability. Stay on the ground to get it to Jai. The Jai, a first down and more. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Jay Ajayi, a 23 yard run. And the Eagles have moved out in front. Hey, that score deserves our respect, deserves our excitement. But I'm looking at the clock, and I'm thinking, there's a long way to go in this one. Ideally, they would have liked to milk a little bit more time off. Now on the other sideline, you start to get the crew together and say, this is what we practiced the two-minute drill for, right? Yeah, you hope you've been in that situation before, and if you have it, you just have the confidence. Hey, let's go down there and get this thing done. But boy, that's a big score right there to give them the advantage. 
And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any... And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Bye -bye. Nigel Brattle. Bye -bye. And they are going to set up we shop at the 40-yard line. And, Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. They'll run it now out of the gun. And this one's going to go the wrong way, losing yardage back at the 42. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Well, forget about finding the lane there. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Probably fortunate he's able to hold on to the football. Caught right side is Jeffrey. He got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. They always say that real estate is about location. Well, guess what? When it's a slant route, the quick ones, timing, timing, timing. Got to be able to lead your man with the football. And the timing off right there, threw it behind him. Well, once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Oh, look at this. Wentz going to throw. That is caught at the 7. A big pick up there, and without question, that should be more than enough to wrap this one up. Back to throw, Wentz. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off inside the 5. And to the 12. That's where it stops. The return is halted at the 12-yard line. Giving this group so much opportunity to win. He's back to throw. Now a desperation throw. He's got a man complete. Yeah, he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. A gain Here, of 32 that time. I hope you out. And now the Eagles going to signal for a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. They'll look to throw. And a catch made here by Marquise Lee. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Bortles now a perfect eight for eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and ten. He'll look to throw. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Rodney McLeod. And now look at him go. The interception was a... I got so much beef. Baron, no, you got me losing on my Z's all day. Good love, mama praying on the knees all day. If you still frighten when I up it, I'ma squeeze. Bad companies, bad for your company. Bad companies, bad for your company. Company in the ski mask, in case you come for me. Got it, got it. In the ski mask, in case you come for me. When I say I got beef, they don't want no beef. When they say they got beef. They don't want to eat if he said he want. They don't want no steam. She put it on it. Bad, 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 bad. Had a bachelor's degree. PhD was selling spelling. Fix the face and fix the weed. Not working on the self esteem. Hit a block. Yo, this block. Where you at? Pin it. Pin it. My new map location be the block. Come on, man.
Alright guys, good game.